Guys. Guys, guys, guys. First off, I want to say welcome back to my channel. Don't mind me looking all tore up. I don't feel well today, so I have no makeup on. Haven't brushed my hair, so my hair is a mess right now. <laughs> don't look at me. Julie's right here. But as you can tell from the name or the title of this video, that my new cheapy eyelash curler that I bought for three or four dollars cut my lashes. Cut, like scissors, cut. I didn't pull them out by the root, it cut them. Like, take a look at this, guys. Do you see this? Do you see this? Oh my god. <laughs> I have been curling my lashes for years. And the reason I ended up buying this new one is because the one that I had been using for the past so many years was a Revlon brand. And that one, I guess maybe just from so many years of using it, every time that I would go to like curl my lashes, whenever I would close it, it this top bar would start like coming off. So I, I even tried to like experiment and I tried to like Gorilla Glue it down just to, just to see, you know, it didn't work. Gorilla Glue didn't even hold it. So I'm at the grocery store and I'm like, you know what, I need a new eyelash curler and I just found this little cheapy one, like a little off brand. It might have even been like the H-E-B brand. I don't know. It was like $2.99 or $3.99. Of course, there were other ones for seven, eight, nine, ten dollars but I was like, eh, I'm just going to get this one because I don't need nothing fancy or expensive. It's just going to curl my lashes and that's it. So I bought this one and boy, do I freaking regret it. I'm in my bedroom Thursday night and I want to play with makeup because... Since I didn't get around to doing my St. Patrick's Day green eyeshadow look, I was like, you know what? I didn't even know what I wanted to do at first in general. I just knew that I wanted to do something green, some sort of green eye look. And so, like, you know, I want to play around with my makeup and see what look I probably would have come up with. And so I'm in here and I'm playing with makeup and I'm done. And I've just finished my mascara and I'm like, you know what? Do I really want to curl my lashes right now? Because I'm just going to get in the, in the shower in a few minutes and just wash it all off because I got work in the morning. Because mind you, like I said, this is Thursday night. I got to go to work on Friday. So... I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes because I want to see like the full look. I want to see what the whole thing would have looked like. Lashes curled and all. So I go ahead, I grab my new little cheapy eyelash curler and I'm curling my lashes and I do this one perfectly fine. That one's good. So I come over to do this one and I'm sitting here and I'm pumping. I'm doing this little thing like boom, 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 boom. And I'm going to take it off and I notice this was like really stuck on there. And I know that it's stuck because my mascara was still kind of wet. So you know how like that happens. It gets like stuck and it kind of, you know, get um, clumped together and things like that. So I'm assuming that that's all that's happening. So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to like work it off because it's like really stuck on here. And all of a sudden it kind of gave me like a little pop. And I just thought, okay, like that's my lashes. It came off of the eyelash curler so I'm looking and I see there's a huge gap right here in the middle and I'm thinking that my lashes probably just curled split open and it like you know what I mean I'm curling my lashes like this and like so I'm sitting here I'm trying to like work it together and I'm doing this number right I'm like what the heck is happening like why does it look so like open so I look at my eyelash curler and sure enough there's like 30 lashes stuck on here just stuck to my eyelash curler and I'm like <gasps> I'm like am I freaking serious right now so I go and I tell David because he's in the the dining room because that's where we still have our computer at because we still haven't bought a discord so he's in there and he's editing uh pictures from his photo shoot that he had done earlier that afternoon for a friend of his and I tell him my new eyelash curler just cut my lashes cut my lashes off I'm not even crying. I'm kind of like in a state of shock. Like, I can't believe what the hell I just did. And he's looking at me and he's sitting there, he's clicking away. And he looks over at me like, huh? And he's clicking away and I guess it's kind of starting to set in. And he's like, huh? <laughs> and he's like, well, did you have it too hot? I'm like, no, like it's not a heated eyelash curler. I'm not talking about a curling wand for my hair. Like my eyelash curler. So the thing that you sit and do this with, like you crump your lashes with it. I said, it cut. My lashes. I didn't pull them out by the root. It cut them. It cut. Cut. Like, can you see this? You can see there's still like hair there. Can y'all see that? Is it still in focus? Am I in focus? I hope I'm in focus. Like. You can see there's like root. So it didn't pull it out. It cut it. Like scissors. And I'm like, what the hell? And so I tell him that. And I'm like, no, like. And he's just like, well, that's an easy fix that you gotta do is put fake lashes on. I'm like, I understand that. Like, I know I can just do that. But I don't want to have to put fake lashes on every single day. 
So, but I'm sure if him and I, you know, end up getting dressed up and going out or having a nice dinner or something, I'm gonna have to put some fake lashes on. But I even tried to call or I text my my lash girl, the one that had perm my lashes a few times. She does eyelash extensions too, so I sent her a picture and I texted her and I was like, girl, is there any hope for me? I was like, you can see there's a little bit of like root there. I said, is that enough to like put fake lash like extensions on? And she <laughs> she said, uh, she goes, well, so I'm not gonna lie, she goes, I can do it, but it's probably not gonna stay for very long. She's like, that's not much hair for the extension to actually stick to. I was like, damn, I'm like, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. So I guess I'm either gonna have to be wearing fake lashes, the strips for a while, or I'm just gonna have to tough it out and just wait however many months it's gonna take for these darn things to grow out because I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. <sighs> the cool thing at least is that my eyelashes are so straight that if I'm looking at you just normal it doesn't really look bad <laughs> unless I I think you can like really see when I blink so that's the only downfall but I don't think like you'd really be able to tell the kind of eyelash in my eye actually my eyes kind of hurting I don't think you'd really be able to tell unless I told you that it's there. Because we were at my sister's house last night and she didn't notice until David was like, oh, why don't you tell her what happened? I'm like, and so I blinked and she was like, oh! <laughs> so, yeah. I think I'm going to try to actually invest in a heated eyelash curler because my sister has one. She says those things work wonders. So, ladies, sound off in the comments down below if this has ever happened to you. If so, how long did it take for your lashes to grow back? And what did you do in the meantime? That's it for my video, guys. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.